Benjamin, thanks very much for joining us here in Paris. Um, it would be good to get your take, I suppose, on um, where we are in the market at the moment and the outlook for 2024. Clearly, the combination of uh, higher interest rates, the co-working phenomenon with uh, less uh, demand for uh, office spaces, and also the uh, ESG investments uh, that have uh, to, to be made, make that the values are sharply uh, declining uh, these days. Uh, there are perspectives for value to increase going forward. I think of the fact that uh, rents have increased uh, dramatically in Paris CBD. And so investors or, or, or tenants will have to, uh, to find places which are probably more affordable. So that will probably increase the, the demand and make uh, properties in the first rim very attractive again. Um, and in terms of, um, I guess, what Berlin Hip are lending on at the moment, there's obviously a focus around, um, I guess, the refinancing side given in the market at the moment. Um, but I suppose, what, what sectors are you looking at? What, what do you find attractive in, in terms of the, the lending market at the moment? Yeah, we spend a lot of time uh, taking care of uh, our uh, portfolio. And given the, the drops in, uh, in value, some form of deleverage has to, uh, to happen. Uh, nevertheless, we are continuing to lend against mainly office properties, shopping malls and logistics. And beside that, we do also some uh, financing for uh, alternative assets like um, managed uh, resi residential uh, properties, for instance, which are also a niche, say, market, but uh, which can be very interesting. And uh, 2024, Paris has the Olympics. Um, we're here on the Champs-Élysées. Uh, you can see a lot of investment in terms of the, the retail side. Do you expect that to be overall positive in terms of the, the Paris market? Yes, certainly. The uh, Olympics will uh, play a great role. I think uh, a lot of um, uh, investors owning retail have upgraded their uh, assets massively and that, that's very nice for the market in, in general. Uh, I think the, the large impact will come from the Grand Paris Express uh, because it's more sustainable uh, over time while the Olympics will only last uh, three weeks. Great. Thanks very much for joining us, Benjamin. My pleasure, Richard. <laughs> Thank you.